Hey there, what's up y'all, welcome to my channel and this is a video where I'll talk about Aquaman 2's trailer and and why does it feel boring even after all sort of fun aspect of this trailer. Now before starting the video, I am going to use only screenshot of the trailer cause Warner Bro has blocked one of my video and strike me for a video about Flash so I'm not taking risks. Anyway, the trailer looks pretty okay and very colorful and to be fair it has all the elements to make a good trailer for any superhero movie but there's a little bit of problem. The trailer doesn't have any substance to it. You can see all sort of color, you can see all sort of visual things but the trailer doesn't possess the extra element which is going to pull in the audiences. Like it's pretty generic. I had the same issue while watching the Shazam trailer cause the trailer was like any other superhero movie and they didn't even try to be different. I'm telling you, go watch the trailer for Blue Beetle, Shazam 1, Shazam 2, even The Flash. You are not gonna find any difference. Tone of these trailers are pretty similar and if I show you a little clip of any of this trailer, you probably would not be able to say which movie it is from. Uh, unless you see the actor, obviously. So all I'm saying is, DC has to be in the dumbest situation at this point cause Marvel did a perfect balance and that's why movies like Civil War has all sort of campy moments but the emotions hit very hard. While if you watch DC movies, the emotion don't even feel emotional. The funny scenes are cringy and that's a problem of almost all the non-dark DC movies. And that's all the vibes I'm getting from this trailer. It got all the campy fun stuff from Blue Beetle, not so good looking CGI like Flash, and some jokes which are not funny unless you turn your brains off. Saying that, I heard some rumors, I heard that people were leaving the free screening or premiere of this movie somewhere. And that's not a good look, cause that's the same thing happened with other movies like Flash and even after great actors getting paid to say it's good, people didn't watch it. And then there's Amber Heard, like yeah, she is a talking controversy. Some people are angry she is even in this movie, while others are angry the trailer doesn't feature her. So Amber Heard's fans and haters both are gonna hate this movie. So this movie is a perfect example of trying to please everybody end up pleasing nobody. So that's all I got for today and if I talk any more about this trailer, it'll sound like I'm bitching about this, which I'm trying not to. So like, share, subscribe and do all the things all other YouTubers ask you to do and till then, hope to meet you in the future.